Hello, today we are going to review the property at 418 Evelyn Avenue, Northwest Live Oak, Florida, 32064. It is noteworthy, that the satellite view of this area, does not fully reveal how dense the homes are in the neighborhood. The satellite view of the structure at 418 Evelyn Avenue shows what appears could be a viable home, even a roof intact. However, as closer examination will reveal, there are profound issues. We make first contact with your neighbor from across the street into the west. I walk down there to take a picture. All right, great. His name is John, and he owns a landscaping company. So they're using, they're using that. This is his business card. We explain who we are and obtain his confidence. He expressed his willingness to help clear your land if needed. So, so when you're doing this kind of work and having to deal with these trees and so forth, does this, does that Spanish moss ever bother you? No, I just got it. You stay, you, you, you don't let it get on you though, right? Well, the thing is, there's mites. I, I heard tell they got red mites. And if you get that, you know, they makes the itch and stuff. That's wrong. The only thing that I don't like about it is uh, you see a great big bunch of it. I cut the tree the other day and then one of the big old uh, oak snakes come out of there. And geez, he must have been that big. No kidding. That must have been a little yeah, bit scary, huh? Was that a little bit scary? Uh, yeah. So what does that guy look like? Is he gray? Brownish gray. He's brown? Looks like he got a head of one. Like a viper, like a yeah. dangerous thing. Yeah, a big one. Looks like, he, you know, he's going to grab a hold of it. If he's that big, he's been around for a while. Yeah, that's what I think. Most snakes are going to be over 100 years old. He didn't take him home for a while. No, no, no. He's about that big. He probably ate, ate the cat if you and brought just, him home. I just stood there with a the chainsaw and it just stood there looking at me and then just crawled away and crawled in the hole down the tree and then I cut the hole. The home we're reviewing here is essentially hidden behind a great deal of vegetation, almost like it's not there. If you had to find a walkway or driveway that connects from the street to the home, you couldn't find one or even evidence one ever existed. The neighbor to the immediate west of the property has mowed their lawn right up to the very edge within 8 to 10 feet of the western perimeter of your prospective property. Where the actual property line exists is a matter of speculation. The home is thoroughly overrun with what appears to be years, perhaps decades of neglect. We enter the home by traversing the lawn of the neighbor to the west after having obtained tacit permission by the neighbor across the street. The walls are missing or warped. The roof as seen from above is warped from what must be rotting. The inside of the house is loaded with debris. The walls have pretty much collapsed as had the ceiling. There is no insulation apparent. There is evidence that one of the main roof beams had been on fire. Charcoaling of the wood is visible. How the entire structure did not burn down must mean there is a good fire department nearby. The kitchen is identifiable with old cups and such strewn about, but the cabinets are all rotten.
The southern and eastern aspects of this property are densely vegetated and interface with similar vegetation from the adjoining properties. The cost of rehabbing this structure, in my view, would greatly exceed replacing it with a new one. That concludes this report.